Hey, Church Crew, another viewers. I'm just putting out this hopefully short video, just uh, giving everybody a health update on me. Uh, if anybody knows me personally or, or has been watching my videos, you know uh, that my life is pretty much an open book. I don't try to hide anything. Uh, and I just want to let people know that some of my uh, physical health issues have uh, caught up with me. Uh, stuff that I've been putting off for quite some time because uh, they wasn't an issue uh, to me except for recently. Uh, and I'm going to warn you, I'm going to be saying some, uh, telling people my uh, issues here. And uh, some of them aren't for the faint of heart. So uh, this probably isn't for children to watch. Or uh, I'm not going to be saying anything uh, like that isn't technical. Like I'm not going to be saying any swear words or anything like that. But I'm just... Uh, I just wanted to share with people what I'm going through and uh, and not sure how it's going to affect the frequency of that I'm able to uh, post videos in, in the coming future. Uh, I know I've made videos like this in the past and, and I've been able to push through it and still get content out on a pretty regular basis. But uh, the problem is getting pretty serious. So, uh, so like I say, if uh, if you have any children that you don't want to hear about some serious stuff, I I I, I suggest uh, turn the video off and make sure the kids are not watching. Uh, and and you'll see as I get into this what I mean. Like it's not. Like I say, anything overly gross or or, uh, or graphic or or dirty or anything, but I, you you'll understand uh, once I start explaining what I'm going through. But okay, hopefully you've had time to stop the children from watching this. And uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, some of my physical health concerns is is kind of. Uh, for lack of a better term, come to a head. And if anybody's seen the comments from uh, one of my other videos here not so long ago, the one where I made the uh, where I made the uh, McDonald's uh, burger hack, there uh, one of my uh, one of my viewers had made a comment about uh, seeing me or somehow he knew that I was in the emergency room and, and that is true I was in the emergency room that day and uh, at, that was after I, I originally that day I had a scheduled appointment to see my uh, my nurse practitioner I don't have a family doctor uh, we have a pretty shortage of doctors here in my area in Nova Scotia but uh, I do have a nurse practitioner that I see, and I had an appointment to see her, a scheduled appointment. Uh, I've been in pretty extreme pain for the past, uh, well, actually, uh, since probably early in August. And what, what I've got going on is uh, in my groined area, just below my stomach, and above my genitalia, I have a very large growth that uh, the do uh, my nurse practitioner and another nurse practitioner that she talked to and the, and the nurses has been coming to my home. They're calling it a lymphodema. And uh, it's become very large and inflamed and it causes me a lot of pain. So it's hard for me to set up at long periods of time. And uh, it's been there for quite some time, but it never really started bothering me really bad until 
until uh, lately. It's it's hindering me from uh, walking normally. It's hindering me from uh, uh, just doing daily things that uh, that normal people can do, and it, it uh, and it's become very painful. Uh, and when I woke up. On the morning of my birthday, ironically enough, on August 20th, uh, the swelling had moved just from that lymphedema down into my testicles. And this is why I, 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 I told you to, like, not have kids watching this because it's, a, it's a, not proper for kids to be hearing about that kind of stuff. And I mean... Uh, I'm sure a lot of you adults don't want to hear about this either, but I just want people to know like what I'm dealing with and uh, and like if I can't put out videos in the future for the near future, uh, like I just want people to understand it's not because I don't want to, it's not because uh, I, I just don't feel up to it, it's, a, it's really extreme pain to do so and I, I'm in extreme pain right now shooting this uh, it's just uh, like I said when I woke up on August the 20th on my birthday my testicles had had swelled to twice their normal size and uh, I contacted my doctor or my nurse practitioner at that time made a phone appointment because it, traveling is darn nigh impossible right now with the amount of pain I'm in and sitting in the vehicle for any amount of time. Uh, before I went to that outpatient's appointment, uh, there was a time, I think it was on the 22nd of August, that I had, uh, find, I, it had got so painful that I agreed to go, and I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos, that I agreed to go in the ambulance we went to Yarmouth and uh, I sat there for four hours and in extreme pain and and still never got seen by a doctor and I just couldn't stand it any longer and I had to leave uh, and then the other day when I went into the outpatients here after seeing my uh, nurse practitioner she sent me immediately over to the, uh, the outpatients and uh, because she thought it was extreme enough, uh, she she thought, and the other nurse practitioner she brought in for a second opinion thought that it was uh, infected, and I'd have to go on immediate uh, uh, I intravenous uh, uh, antibiotics. But uh, when I got there, uh, I sat there for a few hours and finally got seen by the doctor, and. Uh, they done blood work. As as you can see here, there's the bruises I got from having the blood work done. Pretty nasty looking, but uh, it's hard for them to find a vein in my arm, and that's usually the best place to get it. But uh, the first time the nurse punctured through my vein and caused the one big bruise, and then the second one, I, I'm not sure why that one bruised so bad. It, it, they do bruise a bit sometimes up there, but. Not always that bad, but uh, anyway, uh, the doctor there, when they took my blood work, he said that my uh, white blood cell count wasn't elevated enough to, to prove that I had any type of a bad infection, so uh, he his plan of action was he... he uh, wants to set me up for scans in, uh, uh, I need to have an ultrasound on my testicles because, uh, like I said, on August 20th, when I woke up, uh, my testicles were twice the size. The swelling eventually went down in a few days, but now the swelling is even worse than what it was now. It probably, my, sh and pardon, like, the straight up talk here, but my scrotum is probably almost the size of a good sized grapefruit it's, and it's just excruciating pain all the time and uh, like I say I apologize for the candidness uh, like I, I but like I said my life's an open book I, I can't hide my problems uh, and I don't want to 
uh, and I just want people to understand, like, if I, if I can't continue to put out, uh, content, uh, the amount that I have been in the past, uh, that it's not, like I said, it's not because I don't want to, it's just because I, I literally cannot stand the pain to do so, but, uh, and I have been, like I say, since the 20th of August, I've been, I think I've been doing pretty good trying to get my content out, uh, and working through the pain, but the pain is just getting quite bad, so, anyway, right now it's a waiting game, I'm waiting to hear from, uh, Yarmouth Hospital, which is about an hour away from me, uh, waiting for an ultrasound on my testicles, and then I have to go to Truro, uh, another hospital, which is about three hours away, to have a uh, CAT scan done on the lymphedema above that in my groin uh, to see what exactly is in there. Because the doctor's point of view was, when I was at the outpatients the other day, like, can't really treat it till we know exactly what it is that's causing it. And, uh, and so we can't treat something before we understand what it is. So, and I, I guess the reason is because of my extreme size. Uh, like I said, I've shared before, I'm over 600 pounds. And uh, I guess Charles, like I said, was three hours away. It's the closest uh, place where they can accommodate my size on the CAT scan machine. And, uh, and I'm... To understand, I think the doctor told me the other day that they just got the uh, this new uh, CAT scan machine on Monday, so he wasn't even sure if it had even been hooked up yet. But they they had assured me when I was in there on Tuesday that I would hear from both of those places to set up a time for those tests by the end of this week. Well, today's Saturday, so the end of the week has come and gone. And, uh, and yesterday was a holiday, which I don't think the doctor was taken into account for when he, when, when he originally told me they would contact me by the end of the week. But, so like I said, it's still a waiting game. Uh, so, and like I say, I'm, I'm not putting up this video for people's sympathy or, and I know people will probably reach out in the comments and, and tell me that they're thinking of me and praying for me and stuff and, and the ones that are religious and and uh, I, like I say I I appreciate that when people do that and uh, but I'm not looking for that like I, I just want to let people know uh, like I said if I cannot continue <clears throat> to do my uh, videos You'll know the reason why. Uh, but rest assured, this is not the end. Uh, if I can get these tests and, and find out exactly what I'm dealing with, I'm, I promise I'm going to do my best to try to uh, get these problems seen to because I, I enjoy making these videos. And, uh, well, not this one, but... <laughs> I enjoy doing my regular content, uh, but uh, it's, uh, like I say, this one's kind of uh, out of necessity, in my opinion. Uh, like I say, I, and uh, I apologize for the, uh, uh, for the straightforward uh, uh, explanations and, and TMI kind of stuff, like maybe too much information, but... Uh, like I said, my life's an open book. I don't really hide nothing, but uh, I have nothing to hide. But anyway, yeah, so I, I just want to thank everybody for uh, for their patience in the coming future. And uh, hopefully I can get myself uh, fixed up and get back to uh, my normal and... Uh, continue to keep putting out the content that I enjoy doing and, and that uh, that my uh, viewers enjoy watching and uh, 
all you members of Chet's crew and all the other people that uh, watch me and uh, and are dedicated to the channel and and uh, I was stuck on 113 viewers or uh, subscribers for the longest time and then over the past month and a half I've, I've shot up to over 160 and I know for some people that doesn't sound like a lot but for me when I first started this journey like I I didn't know if I'd ever hit one subscriber so to have a hundred over 160 subscribers now like to me that is that's amazing and I, I appreciate each and every one of you and not just the people who are subscribed but all the other people who watch and uh, comment and uh, and uh, there, I know there's a lot of my viewers that only watch when I share them to Facebook and that's fine too if uh, if you can't subscribe and or if you don't use uh, YouTube or have a YouTube account uh, just watching them on Facebook and and like I say, just I, I'd asked uh, anybody who watches my videos to please like, uh, drop a like, and hit the like button if you're on YouTube. I know it, you can't if uh, hitting the like button when you're on Facebook doesn't really help my YouTube, but uh, I do see them and I, I appreciate the people who like them on Facebook. And uh, like I say, if you can subscribe, please subscribe and. Uh, and uh, share the videos as well like because uh, I have a limited amount of people on my like I have my friends list that I and I share all my videos to my uh, Facebook and my Instagram but like I say I, I do have a limited amount of people that I can reach that way and uh, like I say if you like what you see on my videos and you share it to your friends list it'll get out to people that I don't know and uh so it'll help me uh, ha have more of an audience see my videos and stuff. But uh, but anyway, like I say, I don't want to make this about that, uh, promoting myself. I, I just wanted to make this video to let people know and ask people to be patient with me in the, in the coming near future. And uh, like I say, I don't know how long this is of a journey this is going to be. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to, one, get these scans, uh, and two, do something about it. Uh, I may end up being put in the hospital for a while. I don't know what the future brings. Uh, nobody knows what the future holds, but uh, if I do, I'll deal with that as it comes. Uh, if I do end up having some type of emergency surgery, I mean, at my size, it's a pretty pretty uh, dangerous thing for a person my size to have in a, a surgery and uh, uh, I might as well uh, get it right out there in the open I mean I may not survive a surgery so if I have to have one so and that is what it is as well like uh, at this point I know I've said it before and I know people don't like to hear it but uh with the amount of pain I'm living in right now, uh, me personally, I, I, I would be better off if uh, I was to uh, die. Uh, and I know people don't like hearing that, and, and I apologize. But that's just the way I honestly feel. Like, I, I'm in that much pain that uh, sometimes it feels like I, I'd much rather be dead than be going through this pain. But anyway, I can see here on the timer on the on my camera that uh, it's getting close to 20 minutes. I didn't expect this to be this long, but uh, so like I say, bear with me. And uh, I, I know this one wasn't funny at all, but I I, I try to end my uh, all my videos the same, and I want people to know that I'm in good spirits. I'm just not good physically, so. If you can't laugh with me, laugh at me, but keep laughing. Have a nice day.